Hello and welcome to Skills Simplified. In this video series, we are simplifying computer skills. In the last video, we learned what a computer is and how it works. Today, we are answering what are computer systems. A computer system is a computer combined with other hardware and software needed to perform desired functions. In other words, a computer system is a computer and everything that's needed for a computer to work, just like Mr. Accountant needs his office to work. To understand this better, let's understand the basic functions of a computer system. There are four basic functions of a computer system. First, input. Input is to feed data or instruction into a computer. Second, process. Process is to work on the data. Third, store. Store is to save the data for later use. Fourth, output. Output is to send data out of the computer. A computer system is similar to Mr. Accountant and his office. How you ask? Let's get on our time machine. Hold on tight, we are going back in time to Mr. Accountant's office. Mr. Accountant is relaxing in his office today. He hasn't got any work to do. Oh no, Miss Client just sent in some data for Mr. Accountant to work on. Mr. Accountant starts working on the data he received and does whatever is needed. Then, Mr. Accountant safely stores the data for future and sends out the data that Ms. Client needed. In computer words, we can say that Ms. Client inputs the data for Mr. Accountant to work. Mr. Accountant starts processing the data and does whatever is needed. Then, Mr. Accountant stores the data for future and outputs the data that Ms. Client needed. So, we saw that Mr. Accountant and his office functions similar to a computer system. They both have capability for input, process, store, and output. Now let's read what a computer system is again. A computer system is a computer combined with other hardware and software needed to perform desired functions. We now know the functions, but it also mentions the hardware and the software. Let's find out what they are. Hardware refers to the physical elements of a computer system. In other words, anything that a computer needs to work and can be physically touched is hardware, like the keyboard, the mouse, and the monitor, the computer screen. Hardware enables computer systems to perform input, process, store, and output functions, just like Mr. Accountant's work inbox is used for input, Mr. Accountant's brain is used for processing, the filing cabinet is used for storing, and the work out box is used for output. So, the work inbox, brain, filing cabinet, and out box are the hardware as we can touch them. Now, let's see what a software is. Software is a collection of data and computer instructions that tells computer how to perform its functions. In other words, a software is the knowledge and information that a computer needs to perform its required functions. For example, a computer needs a software to understand which key you are pressing on the keyboard and what to display on the monitor. 
Unlike hardware, software can't be touched. Software is just like Mr. Accountant's knowledge of accounting and knowledge of numbers which can't be touched. But Mr. Accountant needs them to know what to do and how to do it. Now that we know what software and hardware are, let's read what a computer system is one more time. A computer system is a computer combined with other hardware and software needed to perform desired functions. So, we understood that a computer needs hardware and software to work and all together they are a computer system. In the next video, we will learn about different computer systems. Click here to subscribe to our channel for our future videos. Do press the like button if you liked this video and thumbs down if you didn't like it. Mr. Accountant would really like to read your comments so please go ahead and write for him. And keep learning new skills. Thanks for watching. Bye!